So when you pick up your scanner, you push the power button. It might be located different in different places on different scanners. And you should get to this screen uh, where you select the user. So it's a list that you can scroll up and down in. And you select your name by touching on it. If you're logged in as the wrong person, you log out again and select your name instead. And now you're in the main menu, so this is where you select what you, you should do. So if you're receiving products, you push receiving. Picking is for picking orders, customer orders. Inventory is where you do your stock adjustments or if you're going to do a full yearly stock count or monthly. And stock check, this is where you can check how much you have in stock of a specific item. So now we're going to test receiving here. So you can see that the cursor is blinking blue up here in this input field. So that means it's asking me to enter an item number or scan the barcode for an item. So I have a couple of test barcodes here and I scan one of them. And I can also push on this button here, the button that says item. And it takes me back to that input field and I can scan again if I made a mistake. So now it's found this item. So you can see the, the description showing below the item. That means that it was found and it knows what this product is from the barcode. And now it's asking me to enter a quantity. So I'm going to enter 80 here. And now it wants me to scan a location. So I have a couple of locations printed here so I'll scan one of them so now everything is filled out and it uh, is asking me if everything is correct with this done button that appears so I just look through that everything looks good so I had the right product I have the right quantity the location is the correct location if everything is fine I just push done and you can see down here in the in the list that you got the new items you can scroll up and down when you have many items in this list to see what you scanned last um, if i scanned the wrong thing let's say i'm in the item uh, item scanning field and i scan a location Not found. it's gonna say that this item wasn't found and take me to a warning screen here so if I scan an item that's not in the database uh, right now I can add it here but in general we recommend that you you go to the PC and add that item uh, so from here you just push the red X or the back button and you come back to the receiving screen here so if I scan an item and I enter a quantity again and uh, I scan an item again into the location field it's not gonna find that location and give me a warning and then I go back and I scan a real location so now it's showing me the done button here and I can proceed so now I've added more to this specific item here so that's the receiving part of the app mm, if you want to do a stock check that means you want to see how much you have in stock of a specific item you push stock check here and then you can start typing uh, so it's going to slim down the list as you're typing right and then you can select an item here in the in the list to take down the keyboard you can push this little arrow button here and that's gonna take down the keyboard so you can see the list more clearly you can also scan a barcode to find the product so now it's saying that this item is located in three places here in my warehouse with these quantities and these locations And if I do, I want to do a stock adjustment. So let's say something is is not correct in my warehouse. I 
push the inventory button and then I go to stock adjustment and I scan the barcode and I enter the quantity so it's going to show me the total stock quantity I, I have of this specific item for all locations together. So let's say I find 80 of a specific item and then I have to find a location. So let's say that so this location has zero in stock of this specific item and uh, I've entered that this location has 80 in quantity. So I can either push the back button if I scan the wrong things or I can push approve which means that I will affect the stock level for this product. So now I've added 80 more to this product to a new location that wasn't around before. And I can see here in the stock level list that everything looks good.